Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's going to be making her broccoli casserole that somebody sent her today. Yeah. And uh, she's going to make that for y'all today, and here's all the ingredients. It has quite a few ingredients, but uh, she'll well, explain it to you. As long as you could follow along, you'll be able to make it. Yeah. We'll do it step by step. Here's our broccoli, and what you do is you uh, put it in the skillet in the water, a little bit of water. You steam it, and then... You take it out and put it in your um, casserole dish. This is just steamed broccoli until it's tender. Yep. This, I got two bags in here. Well, my grandson, the other one, come down here and got a little bit out. So, But it, this is two bags, two of these. Yeah, we had a, the perfect amount to make it down here and got into it, and uh, now it's going to be a little bit shy. So, but we'll make do with it. Yeah. And the next step is we mix these ingredients together. One can of mushroom soup. This is a cream of mushroom. Yeah, cream of mushroom soup. We'll use this mayonnaise. You put it in here. And you use... Um, Mayonnaise, well here, I got the mayo, and use a cup of it. This is real mayo, one cup. You put this in here. Yeah, my friend sent this recipe to me. She, we was talking and she gave me the recipe. And then you use one egg, well here's our egg. Of course, you know that's my farm fresh egg. And you put it in, and then it calls for one half cup of milk and you put that in there one half cup of milk uh, and here's and the milk, milk evaporated milk of course that's what i use uh, it's my mom's favorite milk she uses it for everything and then you put half of this in here yeah it calls for a whole bag but we thought that would be way too much maybe they meant like a really small bag or something so we're just going to put half of this bag in there yeah and my mom's are getting so weak let me get this open getting weaker and weaker. I found a good knife. Okay. So if I had all my knives, I'll use this one. Try to get it started. Yeah. Usually I have my scissors in here, but my kitchen scissors, but I don't have it. And it's still been stubborn. I should have had it already open. Sorry about that, y'all. So, I'm going to do this. Always have to be some complications, do so, But you can always skin a cat, can't you? So we're going to put half this bag in here. It calls for a whole bag, but I'm not going to put a whole bag. I'll put half a bag. Yeah, I think a half will be plenty. Yeah. And you stir all this up. And you pour it over your broccoli. I love broccoli. Any way you can fix it, that's the way I like it. So. Then you pour it over it. And then you got one more step to do. You gotta put the uh, top to it. So scatter this out over your broccoli. There you go. And now, let me get me another spoon. Let me get me this one. Now you take uh, your crackers, any kind of crackers, uh, Ritz crackers, or we got these at the Audi's, so they, they look like Ritz crackers or vegetable round crackers, it says. Well, the semi yeah. round crackers, I guess. Yeah. Or Ritz, whatever you want to use. And then you take one stick of butter and you pour it in here. Yeah, you melt it in the microwave. Yeah, melt it in the microwave. It has to be melted. And this is three packages of these crackers crushed. Yeah, three packages of them. That's what it calls for. 
And I'll see if it's going to mix up good. It says you mix them up, and then you put it on the top and press it down. So that's what we're going to do. See how it's getting moist? All of it's getting moist. Y'all make sure to check out our merch that we just recently got up. It's uh, The link is in the description. If you haven't checked it out yet, y'all make sure to go check it out and let us know if y'all like it or if y'all uh, would like a different design on there. And we'll try our best to make the other design that y'all would like on there. Yeah. Just let us know in the comments and uh, make sure to let us know if y'all did get something from there. So we'll know. Because right now it says that nothing has sold yet and it's got 800 views, but uh, nothing has sold. So y'all make sure to tell us if y'all did get something from there so we'll know that if it's lying to us or not. Yeah. We want to know that if y'all order something, it has been sent out to you. Yeah. So you let us know because we, uh, we've never done anything like this before. And if it didn't get sent to y'all, we'll personally uh, send it to you yourself. Yes. If we have to. Now you take your um, crackers and your butter and you pour it on the top. This is going to be your top coating. And then you put it in the oven for th on 350 for a 35 to 40 minutes. You spread this over it. That's a lot of crackers, isn't it? But that's what the recipe called for. And, and you, it says mash it in there. Mash your crackers in on your um, broccoli and sauce. And if you are still watching, make sure to like and subscribe. And there you got, just mash it down into that moist uh, sauce we done put in there. And then we put it on 350. You heat your oven on 350. And then you put it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. And that's it. So he'll do his special thing he does. Yeah. And we'll show it to you afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, 35 to 40 minutes, she said. And then uh, whenever we're getting it out, we'll start the video back up and we'll get it out for y'all and she, she'll try some if it's not too hot. Yeah. And uh, y'all can see her dip some of it out. But we love y'all. We'll be right back. Uh, we'll be right back. Love you. All right, we're back, y'all. And she's going to take it out of the oven for y'all now. Oh. You should have got a plate ready and a spoon to dip it out, but we forgot to get it ready. But here's what it look like after you get it out of the oven. It's crispy and uh, browned on top. She's gonna take a piece out for you and maybe try it if it's not too hot, but it's probably still boiling hot. It just yeah. now came out. The, the yeah, and somebody requested in the comments to see uh, old pictures of Mama and for Mama to talk about uh, how many grandkids she has. So we're gonna show you all a few old pictures and. Maybe Mama will tell you all about how many grandkids she has, which uh, we're not exactly sure, to be honest. Yeah. There it is. There's the broccoli. Got more the crumbs than we do anything else in here. Yeah. You can see the broccoli and the, the cream and stuff is on the very bottom. Yeah. But we'll go up here and look at the pictures now and let this cool down a little bit. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe after we show the pictures, you might be able to try a yeah. piece of it. With you. Okay. This picture right here is Milton's grandparents. And uh, she was a midwife. Hold it up. Yeah. She was a midwife. She was the doctor's helper. And because he couldn't get around to everybody when he had babies, so he appointed her to be the midwife to deliver the babies around here. So she delivered Milton in March, and then in August, she delivered me. And then Milton come down and see me when uh, I was about three months. No, he was three months old when he come down and see me. I was just born. So, and here's a baby picture of Milton. Now, there was a photographer that went around, and uh, he come to people's houses and take pictures. See, I got a picture like this too, but I have to find it. I didn't get it uh, today, so but I'll find it again. And uh, they would come around and take pictures of, it, of us and set, put the pictures up in Weissville. You know. 
Yeah, Pop he ours is a little toy truck. Yep. He got a little toy truck, he said, about no wheels for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and he loved it. <laughs> yeah. Still got the same exact smile, too. <laughs> you look oh. at these other pictures when he's smiling, he's got the same smile. <laughs> now, this was taken when Annie and, uh, Annie and Jackie were little. Trying to hold it so they could see it without the glare. Annie is 26. 24? I think 25, maybe. Annie's 25 now. She uh, She's the one we got through foster care and had to go to Shriners uh, until she's about uh, 13 years old. And, and uh, this is Jackie. He's uh, 24 now. So, and I can't remember where that was taken at. It was some photographer place. I think it's where they come around and people... Uh, um, come to uh, churches and uh, places and have pictures made. I, I forget the name of the company. And this is my mom and dad, and this is me right here in the middle. And that's Lonnie, and that's Carrie, and mom had Dwight. Yeah, the third brother wasn't born yet. Yeah. Now there's two more brothers missing, Tommy and uh, Dwight. This is Lonnie and this is me. And this is Carrie, and th then there was Tommy, and then there was Dwight. Oh, so there's uh, two of them that hadn't been born yet. Yeah. Yeah, I was the only girl. So, look at that frown I got on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know little kids like pictures. <laughs> I want to go play. I want to go play. <laughs> uh, but I'll try to find some older pictures of you. And this was taken uh, last Easter. This is an old picture. I mean, it's a new picture, but it was ta uh, taken at Easter time. And this in here was taken when we had uh, our uh, kids, our five kids. It was taken at a church and uh, we had five kids. I, I've got that picture somewhere too. I'll have to find it. But uh, I got something on right there. But that's a church picture. That's been a long time ago too. See Milton's black hair? Yeah. <laughs> And, and I'm not as heavy as I am now, <laughs> but that's some of our pictures. And uh, I'll try to get the older ones out, you know, and maybe show you some of my kids. I had, um, I had five kids and uh, then I adopted five. And then uh, my son, Jonathan, uh, Little Miss's dad, um, Little Miss and uh, Sean is his. And then there was, uh, he had, he had about nine kids and they're all married and got kids. And then I had a daughter, uh, Stephanie, she's the oldest. She was, uh, she had four kids and uh, her two girls, uh, well. Uh, and her son, only one of them don't have kids. Yeah, yeah. And uh, who else? Now, and we had Delbert and he had four kids. Yeah, and all of his kids has got kids. Yeah. And um, Valerie, uh, she has Danielle. He's here with us. We've t I think you might have seen him in some of the videos. Um, who else? And uh, my mom, she's got yeah, four. It's me, my brother, and my two sisters. And uh, one of my sisters got two, and my other sister's got four. So that would be six great grands great grandkids from Momo. Yeah. And then my adopted uh uh other daughters, uh Missy Jackie and Annie was adopted. Then we had Natasha, Desiree, and Amanda. They were adopted. And uh they live in South Carolina. Well let me see Natasha lives in South Carolina. She's got three kids. Uh Desiree has two. Amanda has two or three, I can't remember now. So we, we got a big family. And then if I go into all the great grandkids, you know, we've got a, if they, we'd all get in this house, this house would be full, you know, so. Yeah, at least a, at least a dozen great grandkids that right. I know of. So I have to count them up one day. He come here just now and told me y'all would like to see some of the pictures and stuff of us. Yeah, this so, is for the person in the comments that requested to see the yeah. pictures and for mama to talk about her grandkids. And I'll try to get some more pictures together and tell you about them, you know, but uh, they all, all the grandkids work, um, I think. 
Naomi said, Natasha's is too young. He said, Stephanie's got all her kids is working. She's got two girls and two boys. And uh, Etta, um, the other, Monica just had a baby. And Etta Berta is pregnant. She's get, uh, But she just found out that she was pregnant. So... There's a bunch. I have to thank and thank. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to write it down one day and show y'all and, and lay the pictures out for you. But yeah, we have a, a we have a bunch of kids, that's for sure. And uh, Jonathan took after Man Milton. He uh, uh, went into foster care, and he adopted his kids, uh, some some of his kids. And um, I th uh, well, Valerie did. She went into foster care, and uh, she had several, but uh, babies. That was in ten, uh, that was in uh, South Carolina, and all the babies went back to other people or to their moms and dads, and uh, so she de she decided to drop out of it. She didn't want to do it no more. Just broke her heart to lose the kids, you know. After she got them, it, it is a tough situation to be a foster parent and to lose a, a kid, you know, one you've had for two or three months, and then they come and take them, put them back in the parents' house, and then they bring them back out to you, you know, and then they'll put them back in the parents' house, you know. But it's not good. Uh, I know when me and Milton first got into it, uh, we had four little kids. And we had them for about a year. Maybe, maybe even longer than that. Uh, I don't know if it was a year. Anyway, uh, Milton had a, a garden up here. And the social worker come and got the kids. They was going back to their parents. And one of them was just a baby. And uh, Milton uh, couldn't stand to see him leave. So he went up in the, in the garden and he cried in the uh, green bean uh, patch. And he didn't want to see him leave, so he went to the garden. And uh, the uh, next morning we got up and the green bean vines and all just dried up where he had cried in the green bean patch. And, uh, so it is hard being a foster parent. You get a kid, you get attached to it, and then you lose them, you know. And nine times out of ten, they go back in the same situation they come out of. But uh, we got one uh, foster child, a uh, daughter, and uh, they took her, and, uh, and that was the one that Milton had cried over. And uh, now she's grown, and she's got uh, two kids, and she calls every once in a while and calls us mom and dad. She lives in um, Charleston. I think that's where it's at. And she'll call and check almost ever so often. And once in a great while, she'll come up here. But her husband works all the time. And she stays sick a lot. But, yeah, so we just, she's our daughter, too, because uh, she calls us and calls us mom and dad. But, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a hard, hard thing to get into. If you get into it and you love kids like we did, and for them to take them away from you. You know, and, and, and you know they're going back in the same situation they'll come out of. So um, that's our family, you know. Well, we got a bunch. <laughs> I hate so, to be the party pooper, but we only got about three more minutes on this video, and then I won't be able to put them together. So yeah. we're gonna have to hurry up and uh, finish this Here video. It if it's longer than uh, 15 minutes, I won't be able to put them together, and this one's already 11 minutes, so we yeah. got about four minutes. So y'all fix some of this. It's good. God bless you. Have a Rainy evening, because we're having a rainy evening. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments if y'all end up making this or not. Yeah. Or if y'all would like to try it. I do less uh, less of the crackers, because I think it's too much crackers. Yeah. So, but other than that, it tastes real good. So yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Yep, y'all make sure to check out the merch. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Share us to Facebook if you have Facebook or anywhere you want to share us. Mm -hmm. And we love y'all. God bless y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen.